we start week number four or three, excuse me, of the MVI SBL, night number five of the girls division. Alex Lyons with you for all the action here of game number one featuring Cedarbrook and Dax Thomas State Farm. Cedarbrook looking to go to three and two on the season while State Farm still looking for win number one as we get set to get underway here in the opening game of the evening on MVI Live. Again, Alex Lines with you for all the action here in this one between two and two, Cedarbrook. Oh, and four, Dax Thomas State Farm as State Farm trying to get into the win column for the first time this season. And it's gonna take a test against a team tied with Manesson Florist has the head-to-head -head tiebreaker with them in Cedarbrook, which sits at third place so far this season as it's going to be Vasquez and Erica Hall taking the opening tip to get us underway here in it on MVI Live as ball up and away as we get underway as it's taken in the backcourt over the timeline. Dax Thomas State Farms, Nick, or Aggie Nikolai took it in, blocked down low. That's by Schneider. Schneider. In transition now to Vasquez. Vasquez right wing. Carmen Vasquez pulls up for three. No good. Rebound grabbed down by State Farm. Back the other way. There's Nikolai. Pulls up right wing. No good. Rebound Jocelyn Dawson. In transition. Dawson knocked out of bounds. It's Aggie Nikolai. In transition defense. Keeping things scoreless. Inbound goes to Vasquez. Vasquez up top, spell for three, no good. As back the other way we will come as here comes Erica Hall. Hall fires it up out of bounds. Up over the divider goes Vasquez. 15-13 and counting here, first quarter, or first half as Vasquez Fires it up, no good, but she's fouled, and Carmen Vasquez will shoot a pair. As Vasquez at the line, the rising junior. First shot up and in for Carmen Vasquez. one nothing. Cedarbrook leads. Vasquez through the motion. Carmen Vasquez puts it up, and Vasquez puts it through. Two for two for Carmen Vasquez. And it's a 2 0 Cedarbrook lead early on. As driving and flipping that one is Chepka off to Rodriguez. One minute gone, opening half. Near side, and Aggie Nikolai pressured by Spell. Inside, Hall denied by L. Schneider. As here comes Vasquez up top, Spell, Spell on the left wing. Maggie drives in, slides, lost her foot. And a traveling violation called on Maggie Spell, sending us the other direction. 14-44 remaining opening half, 2-0 Cedarbrook leads. Up over the timeline, it's Tess Rodriguez. Rodriguez now taken by Nikolai. Nikolai inside, Chepka blocked by Vasquez. As back-to-back -back trips with blocks from Cedarbrook. L. Schneider back in the lineup. It's been a while since we've seen her as Vasquez off the mark with the three. Rebound, Schneider, kick out, taken away by Hall near side. Almost steps on the boundary, steal by Maggie Spell. Spell in transition, Spell left elbow down the lane, stripped away, and then knocked out of bounds. The last touch by Dax Thomas State Farm, and it's going to stay with Cedarbrook with 14.06 remaining here in the opening half. Inbound, Vasquez, right corner. Carmen Vasquez rolls right wing, now drives, handoff, spell, spell. Penetrates up top, handoff goes to Dawson. Dawson, left elbow, left block, puts it up. And in the way was Nikolai, but right to Schneider down the lane. And L. Schneider fouled on the shot attempt. She'll shoot two, two nothing. Cedarbrook leads Dax Thomas State Farm here in the early going. No buckets from the floor as L. Schneider to the charity stripe. 12 points per game. First one back iron and out. Second one by Schneider sails through. Three nothing Cedarbrook here early on as three makes from the charity stripe. 345 remaining here in the opening half as there's Rodriguez. Rodriguez underneath off the fingertips over to Hall and Erica Hall. 
lays it in for two. First bucket from the floor, and then Hall knocks it out as Cedarbrook will regroup and try once more. Canty goes to Vasquez. Carmen Vasquez flips it up. Schneider to Dawson off the window and in for two. Jocelyn Dawson. As at the other end, shot won't fall for Nikolai. Is back the other way. In transition comes Maggie Spell. Now it's Canty. Canty puts it up. Bank no good. Rebound. Grab down. That's Tess Rodriguez. Rodriguez. Driving in, Rodriguez off the window and in for two. Tessa Rodriguez cuts the lead to one with 12.53 remaining here in the opening half. As back the other way and a foul called in the shot attempt by Michaela Canty. As that's going to go against Aggie Nikolai, the rising junior at Trinity. Third team foul already against Dax Thomas State Farm sending the rising freshman Michaela Canty to the stripe. First one up and in for Canty. First point of the game. Just one bucket from the floor so far for Cedarbrook, but third time they've made their way to the charity stripe with 12.48 remaining here in the opening half. Canty through the motion, puts it up with the right and knocks it through. Two for two goes Michaela Canty, and it's a 7-4 Cedarbrook lead with 12.49 remaining here in the opening half. Here's Tessa Rodriguez, kicks it far side, Chupka, Chupka, left elbow inside, pretty feed to Nikolai, Nikolai fouled. And Aggie Nikolai a chance to cut into the lead at the free throw line. First shot by Nikolai, rattles around and rattles in. First point this evening for Aggie Nikolai, averaging 5.3 points per game, and Nikolai knocks down a pair. Two for two for Nikolai, one point lead for Cedarbrook, 12.30 remaining here, opening half. As Spell turns it over, there goes Nikolai to the corner, back to Rodriguez. Rodriguez in the right wing, Tessa Rodriguez. Rodriguez drives in on jeans, kicks it out, deflected away by Spell. Now it's Chupka, Chupka drives in, Chupka straight to the window, and Ella Chupka lays it in for two. As here, Spell, Spell to Dawson, and Jocelyn Dawson with the answer. Four now for Jocelyn Dawson. And it's a 9-8 Cedarbrook lead. Here's Rodriguez, Rodriguez rolls right elbow, Rodriguez kick out, Hull for three. Off the iron, no good, rebound, grabbed down by Vasquez. Here's Maggie Spell. Spell goes to Jeans, Jeans, left wing three, count it. Abby Jeans from beyond the arc, first three of the game. And Cedarbrook up 12-8 here in the opening half. As now it's Erica Hall rolling top of the key. Hall trying to spin away from Schneider. Now it's Chupka, Chupka kick out corner. Nikolai drives in, right block, puts it up off the glass. No good, rebound, Abby Jeans. Jeans trying to knife her way past Nikolai as Jeans travels in the backcourt, turning things back over to Dax Thomas State Farm with 11.15 remaining here in the opening half of game number one and night number five. As a timeout called 32nd Variety gives us a chance to thank our friends at Dax Thomas State Farm. Life's full of surprises, some good, some not so good. That's why your local State Farm agent, Dax Thomas, is there with good neighbor service and surprisingly great rates for everybody. Yep, that's right, at State Farm, you get great service and great rates with every policy so you can be prepared for all of life's surprises. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. As we get set to continue on here in half number one between Dax Thomas State Farm and Cedarbrook here on MVI Live as exclusive coverage of the MVI SBL brought to you by Cyber Athletics here on MVI Live. 11-15 remaining opening half. It's going to be Dax Thomas State Farm basketball as here comes Rodriguez over the timeline at center court. Picks up pressure from Jeans. Rodriguez kicks it off. Now driving in, Chupka kick out, Hall one more, Rodriguez guarded by Jeans, Rodriguez straight to the cylinder, too strong, rebound ripped down by L. Schneider. 
Schneider stops up. Schneider to Vasquez. Carmen Vasquez over the divider. Top of the key. Vasquez drives in. Vasquez no good underneath the basket. And here comes Rodriguez. Rodriguez changes pace. Down low. Nobody home. Out of bounds. And Cedarbrook will take back over with 10.42 remaining here in the opening half. Jocelyn Dawson gets it in. That's the Maggie Spell. Maggie Spell taking her time to cross the center court strike. Maggie Spell, three games played this season, 14 points in every game. Is a steal by Hall, and Hall with ease off the window for two more as Erica Hall gets her first bucket of the evening. As now it's Vasquez, Vasquez down the lane, and Carmen Vasquez fouled again. Fourth team foul already on Nax Thomas State Farm as Brooke McCoy picks up the personal, sending Carmen Vasquez to the free throw line for the second time this evening. Two points for Vasquez. That one rims out no good. Carmen Vasquez, the Woodland Hills Rising Junior. Plays for slam basketball, also a great discus thrower for Woodland Hills. As Vasquez looks to make this a three-point Cedarbrook advantage here in the early going. Shot up, back iron out, rebound by Riley Venick. Venick over the timeline, Venick up top, McCoy. McCoy drives right elbow, McCoy to the window, and she's fouled by Olzak. It's going to be Olzak's first. Sending Riley, or excuse me, Brooke McCoy to the free throw line. McCoy, 21 points in her two games of action this season. Dax Thomas State Farm had to forfeit their last game. That would have been against AMD. No good by Brooke McCoy, the rising senior for Hempfield. Second one up, rattles home for McCoy as she... Breaks the zero off the scoreboard for her lead down to one with 10.03 remaining opening half. Jocelyn Dawson, Dawson, now it's Vasquez. See if Vasquez can get going from the floor. Drives in left, kick out Dawson. Dawson left block, puts it up. No good, rebound taken away. That's by Nikolai. Nikolai pushing the pace. Nikolai right down Broadway. Euro step no good with the floater. As here comes Abby Jeans. Jeans working in one on two out of control and Riley Venick now the other way. Up ahead to Nikolai. Nikolai fires it near side. There's Ella Chepka. Chepka drives baseline on Schneider. Chepka with the reverse, no good. Rebound by L. Schneider. Schneider changes direction, near side pass off to Vasquez. 9.22 remaining opening half, one point lead for Cedarbrook. Vasquez drains the three. As Carmen Vasquez first bucket from the floor. Give Carmen five, and it's a four-point lead for Cedarbrook. The answer at the other end off the mark by Nikolai as a rebound grabbed by Vasquez, and she's fouled by Brooke McCoy. Her second team fifth. 15-11, your score in favor of Cedarbrook. 9.02 remaining opening half as Vasquez over the divider. Carmen Vasquez, top of the key. Vasquez with the double dribble saying she had it knocked out of her hands, but the officials disagree. And that's all that matters as Dax Thomas State Farm will take back over. And Tess Rodriguez will check back in. The MVI Defensive Player of the Year is Tess Rodriguez. Track and cross country runner as well as she re-enters. Two points so far for Tess Rodriguez. Only three buckets all summer for Rodriguez. She'll kick it off to Ella Chupka. Chupka guarded by Dawson. Chupka fires underneath. Venick blocked from behind by Olzak. Now it's El Schneider. Schneider bringing it up over the divider. Schneider. Top of the key, Schneider rolling right. Slows the pace, Rodriguez in her face, kicks it off Vasquez. Vasquez gets the screen from Schneider up top. Vasquez underneath and putting it up no good. Olzak the rebound and Pascal Camp finishes in the way. It was Erica Hall back the other way comes Rodriguez. Tessa Rodriguez, top of the key. Rodriguez, now it's Nikolai. Nikolai lost the handle, got it back. Right post, kick out Hall, one more Venick. Venick up top, Rodriguez is Dax Thomas State Farm resets the offense, 8.02 remaining. Near side, Chupka, Chupka, jump stop up, no good, rebound Olzak. 
Pascal Olzak kicks it near side. Jocelyn Dawson. Dawson over the divider. Dawson left elbow. Kick out. Jeans from the corner. Off the iron. No good. Rebound over to Riley Venick. As here comes Venick in transition. Riley Venick off to Rodriguez. Guarded by Abby Jean. 737 remaining opening half. Kick out to Chupka. Right corner. Chupka pulls the trigger off the mark. Rebound. Out of bounds off of two Cedarbrook players as Olzak and Al Schneider both going for it as Spell and Canty replace Jeans and Dawson. Nikolai the trigger floats it out off the hands of Hall. Hall jump stop up, no good. Another rebound for Carmen Vasquez averaging 7.8 boards per game up over the center court stripe. Gets around Hall, now stops up. Right elbow, pulls the trigger on the step back two, no good. Rebound, Ozak taken away and knocked out off the hands of Ella Chupka. 7-10 remaining opening half. Four point advantage here for Dax Thomas State Farm. As there's Vasquez up to Spell. Spell pulls the trigger off the mark. Rebound, grab down, and back the other way comes Chupka. Chupka driving in, fires it up, and she's fouled. Ella Chupka will shoot a pair. Ella Chupka at the stripe. Two points so far for Chupka. First shot up. Sends it through, give her three. And the lead is now down to just three here in half number one. Ella Chupka plays for Chartier's Valley. As Chupka goes two for two. Give her four, lead down to two. 6.55 remaining opening half. As there's Carmen Vasquez. Vasquez, top of the key, turns things over. As here comes Nikolai. Far side, Chupka turns it over, a steal by Vasquez. 6.40 remaining opening half, low scoring affair between Cedarbrook and Dax Thomas State Farm. Down the lane goes Vasquez, throws it up, and one. Carmen Vasquez increases the lead as a chance for one more at the line. Leads all scores with seven so far here tonight. 6.33 remaining opening half. Vasquez through the motion. Carmen puts it up with the right, puts it through. Carmen Ma Vasquez, the traditional three-point play, up to eight points here, 6.33 opening half. 18-13 lead for Cedarbrook. Sitting tied at third place with MoFlo, but they have the head-to-head -head advantage in one of the most thrilling games we've seen this year. As driving in, Rodriguez kick out Venick. One more, Nikolai. Aggie Nikolai straight down. Broadway denied by Olzak again. Now it's Vasquez in transition, 6-10 remaining opening half. Carmen Vasquez, right wing, Vasquez, top of the key. Vasquez inside, Olzak one dribble, knocked off the ball as she's fouled. And she will shoot a pair. Six-team foul on Dax Thomas State Farm sends Pascal Olzak to the charity stripe, rising junior a plum. First shot up and in. High of six points this season for Pascal Olzak. Three and a quarter per game. As Pascal Olzak threw the motion once again. Off the back iron, no good. 19-13, Cedarbrook on top. Six minutes even on the clock. As there's Rodriguez, coast to coast, too strong off the window. As Olzak grabs down yet another rebound. Here's Vasquez, Carmen Vasquez directing traffic. Vasquez guarded by Chupka. Vasquez straight to the cylinder, and Ella Chupka knocks it out. As Cedarbrook will maintain possession, but Riley Venick will be replaced by Brooke McCoy here in the opening half. Michaela Canty the trigger down to our left. Canty surveys, flips it in to Maggie Spell. Scoreless thus far. Maggie to the foul line, steps back outside. Maggie Spell off to Vasquez. Vasquez drives in, stops up, bounce pass. Richards wasn't ready and will go back the other direction. 5.36 remaining here, half number one. 19-13 lead for Cedarbrook over Dax Thomas State Farm. Cedarbrook looking for their third win of the season. Dax Thomas State Farm still looking to break that goose egg off the wins column. Game two will be Lee supplying Manessin Flores right here on MVI Live as that's taken away. Hall 
Back out to Chupka, Chupka inside. McCoy goes up off the glass for two. As Brooke McCoy gets State Farm to 15, three for Brooke McCoy. 5-10 remaining here, opening half, 19-15 advantage. Cedarbrook on top, way outside. Vasquez off the mark with the three ball. As checking in will be Jocelyn Dawson replacing Pascal Olzak, so a much more speedy lineup enters with Dawson replacing Olzak, and El Schneider will come back in as well. Up over the divider is Ella Chepka, far side, Tess Rodriguez. Rodriguez working her way in. Rodriguez kicks it out. Now it's Chepka up top. Ella Chepka surveys her options. Chepka foul line, drives in. Chepka bounce pass out to Hall. Hall kicks it far side, Rodriguez. Tess Rodriguez inside Hall. Hall outside, McCoy for three. That one off the mark, rebound saved by Hall. Now it's taken by Chupka. Chupka drives with the reverse, no good. Rebound by Canty. Off to Vasquez, 425 remaining opening half, 19-15 Cedarbrook advantage. Now it's Carmen Vasquez off to Maggie Spell. Spell in the left wing. Spell bounce pass taken away. That's the great defense by Aggie Nikolai. Nikolai near side, Hall, Hall for three. Off the iron, no good, rebound, Hall, Hall puts it up with the right and puts it in. Erica Hall cuts into the deficit, it's now 19-17. Four points for Erica Hall, four minutes remaining, opening half. Now it's Dawson, Hall goes down, Dawson down Broadway, kick out Richards. Richards drives in, taken away, back the other way, it's Chupka off of the leg of Vasquez and out. And it's going to stay with Dax Thomas State Farm and that will allow El Schneider to check into the game. As Vasquez will be replaced by the scoreless, or the, excuse me, El Schneider, just one point tonight. And that's something if you are Cedarbrook and Coach Mariah Ward, you have to hope Schneider and Spell can start to get going, especially without the services of Mia Ladon here tonight. As no good on that one. Ladon has been outstanding. 12 points per game through three games of action for Mia Ladon. 19-17 Cedarbrook advantages. Cedarbrook's Maggie Spell. Came over in the offseason trade for the league's leading scorer, Ayanna Wade. Hand off Canty. Canty, now it's Dawson. Dawson, foul line, drives in, no good. Rebound, Dawson's put back, won't fall. Dawson, another rebound, and Jocelyn Dawson fouled from behind. It's Ella Chupka pitch, picking up the personal, and that's the seventh foul on Dax Thomas State Farm as we will see another timeout by Dax Thomas State Farm. Another chance to thank our friends at Cyber Athletics who always provides their best services for their clients while always trying to achieve their clients' trust and satisfaction by striving to help young athletes develop using technology-based skills, development tools, and competition. For more information, visit cyberathletics.com. Also, a thanks to our friends at Cedarbrook Golf Course, which features two beautiful 18-hole championship courses a full practice range and multiple practice putting and chipping greens. Their entire fleet of electric golf carts are equipped with the latest in GPS technology. Open dawn to dust through the golfing season with daily start times available. Schedule your tee time today using their free online booking service or by calling the Pro Shop at 724-929-8300. And, you know, if you are a golfer and you haven't been to Cedarbrook, and having experienced the GPS inside the golf cart, it is fantastic to have there. I mean, absolutely makes playing a lot easier. Less judging of distances to the pin and all of that. Tells you where other carts are. Fantastic service in the Cedarbrook golf courts. In the Cedarbrook golf cart. So if you haven't experienced that yet and you are a golfer, I highly recommend it. And a couple Fridays ago, Jeremy, myself, and a couple others were in that Bell Vernon golf outing out at Cedarbrook. A lot of fun that day as Jocelyn Dawson shooting one and one. Dawson gets it to fall. Give her another opportunity. Five points for Jocelyn Dawson. 20 for Cedarbrook here in the opening half. Dawson through the motion. Gives it a dribble, a spin. The shot up. Rattles no good. Rebound Erica Hall. Here's Erica Hall flipping it up to Nikolai. Slows the pace with 3.10 remaining. McCoy left wing all alone. Off the iron, off the back iron and out. Iron unkind, but a rebound for Erica Hall. Now McCoy directs traffic. El Schneider guards tightly. 
McCoy near side, Ella Chupka, Chupka drives, Chupka right block, now wheels away, penetrates further in off the glass, no good, rebound, snagged down by Chupka, out to McCoy, McCoy penetrates, McCoy straight down Broadway, up and fouled, and Brooke McCoy will shoot a pair. Three points so far for McCoy, one for two from the free throw line as McCoy toes the line. Puts it up and McCoy sends it through with ease. 2018 year score. And it will stay that as a back end miss for McCoy but a rebound for a second held by State Farm and the whistle blows with 2.38 remaining here opening half. Two point advantage for Cedarbrook over State Farm. As Cedarbrook takes back over and checking back in will be Kenzie Saliga replacing Brooke McCoy who cut it to a two point deficit. Now it's Maggie Spell top of the key, Spell. Surveys her options, near side Jeans. Jeans inside, Schneider. Schneider has it knocked away but Canty picks up the loose ball. Canty, now it's Abby Jeans left wing, Jeans. Trade spots with Spell. Jeans gets around Rodriguez right down the lane. Puts it high off the window. No good. Rebound Kenzie Saliga. Off to Tessa Rodriguez. Rodriguez, 2.05 remaining. Finds Chupka. Chupka kick out Rodriguez. Taken away by Jeans, but Rodriguez gets it right back. Now it's Chupka over to Nikolai. Nikolai outside. Corner three by Hall. Rims in and out. Rebound by L. Schneider. Schneider back the other way in transition. Schneider to Dawson. Dawson back to Schneider from her wallet. Driving in, pulling up. Schneider needs help inside. Jeans off the window, no good. And a foul on the rebound or a tool possession. Make that on the rebound. We'll give the ball back to Dax Thomas State Farm with 136 remaining here. Opening half, two-point advantage for Cedarbrook. Cedarbrook giving all they can handle so far this evening. I haven't got really the scoring depth they've been accustomed to this year as there's Chupka, Chupka down the lane, kicks it out Rodriguez. And if you're State Farm, this is definitely a positive sign playing well with Cedarbrook as Hall ties it up at 20. Erica Hall up to six. And the reason I said another reason it's promising, you're standing toe to toe with the number three team in the league as Spell running out of time, gets it off to Dawson, and Dawson up off the window to retake the lead for Cedarbrook. But also, with that being said, Dax Thomas State Farm has been a much better second half team than a first half team this season. As into the corner, driving in, Nikolai jump stop, pull up, no good, rebound by Maggie Spell, 38 on the clock. Here comes Spell in transition, Spell coast to coast, Maggie Spell. Now it's taken away, that's by Rodriguez. Rodriguez bounce pass ahead, Saliga saves it, but right to Schneider. Schneider up to Spell, Spell driving, and Spell off the glass for two. First bucket of the game for Maggie Spell. And it's 24-20 as ball saved by Hall. Hall flips it up and slapped out by Spell, denying the pass to Aggie Nikolai with 13.4 remaining here in the opening half. State Farm a chance to cut this to a two point game or even one before we draw to the end of half number one. 12 seconds on the clock. Rodriguez bounce pass out, almost taken away. Nikolai down to five seconds, out the hall, inside Chupka. Down to three, down to two. Chupka pulls the trigger, no good. And at the half, Cedarbrook holding on to a slim four point advantage, 24. 20, Cedarbrook on top of Dax Thomas State Farm at the half right here on MVI Live. There is nothing like a refreshing cup of quality coffee to start your day. Brand new to the Mom Valley is his place, coffee, community, and more. Every morning our beans are ground at just the right time to give you that perfect cup of coffee or coffee specialty. Enjoy a fresh made baked good to help start your day? Not a coffee drinker or looking for something different? Try one of our Frap Shakes refreshers 
or specialty cremosos. From 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., it is more than just a coffee shop. Every cup of coffee helps us bring hope back into the community through our tutoring, reading, and single parenting programs. That is why we are His Place Coffee, Community, and More, located 103rd Street in Manesson. Marbell Diamonds and Jewelry, a third-generation family-owned and operated business since 1964. Whether you are looking to propose, promise, celebrate, or surprise, Marbell's has the expertise, selection, and price to make your shopping experience relaxed and easy. Visit our showroom located at 112 Pricedale Road in Bel Vernon or call us at 724-929-6633. Marbell Diamonds and Jewelry, your journey, your jeweler. Valdeseri's Bakery, located 513 Broad Avenue in Bel Vernon, providing the Mon Valley with delicious fresh baked breads, buns, and other sweet treats since 1903. Along with our store location, we offer fundraising and wholesale options. For more information, call us at 724 929 8040 or visit us Monday through Saturday from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. and tell them the Mon Valley Independent sent you. Before or after the game, stop by Dogs, the Mon Valley's newest sports bar and restaurant. Great food, nine 10 foot big screen TVs to watch your favorite sports events, live music every Thursday night, all your favorite bottled beers, plus 16 more on tap. And we serve breakfast every day until 11 a.m. Dogs in the Walmart Lowe's Plaza in Bel Vernon. Back here to get started with half number two on MVI Live. Cedarbrook up by four, paced by Vasquez with eight, seven for Dawson, but the big story, only three points combined for El Schneider and Maggie Spell, a combined 26 points per game between the two as there's Dawson in the right wing. Dawson drives in denied. Rebound grabbed down, that's Tessa Rodriguez. Rodriguez. In the right wing, Rodriguez penetrates. Rodriguez skips it across to Hall. One more, Nikolai. Nikolai looks to penetrate on spell. Back up top, Chupka resets the offense. Chupka drives left, but Chupka no good. Rebound, spell up ahead. Maggie Spell, jump stop denied by Rodriguez. Spell surrounded and travels. Has a great job by Brooke McCoy getting back to help in transition defense. As Dax Thomas State Farm takes back over, 15-20 remaining here, opening half. Tessa Rodriguez near side, Chupka up top, Hall. Hall to Rodriguez, Rodriguez in the right wing. Tessa Rodriguez surveys her options, Rodriguez near side, Chupka. Chupka skips it underneath, pretty feed, now it's Nikolai. Nikolai trying to dribble out of danger, up top, Chupka, Chupka. Puts a few dribbles in and now tries to penetrate once more. Chupka straight to the cylinder. Kick out. Hull for three. Got it. Erica Hull from beyond the arc. And the lead's down to one. 11 points for Erica Hall. Now it's Spell to Schneider. Back to Spell. Spell. Kick out. Schneider. Catch. Release. Off the mark. Rebound grab down, Erica Hall pushes the pace to Chupka. Chupka drives in, Chupka down low, finds McCoy, she can't finish. And the rebound's grabbed down by Jocelyn Dawson. Dawson coast to coast, sees the lane off to Canty and fouled by Rodriguez. As Michaela Canty, two for two from the line tonight. Averaging five points per game. We'll head trying to increase this one point advantage. 14, 15, or 14, 16 remain here opening half. Canty three for three. As she stays true once again, lead the two for Cedarbrook. Another one of the Western PA Bruin AAU players. As Canty through the motions, right hand up and in. Four for four for Michaela Canty. Free throw shooting's been excellent for Cedarbrook tonight as coast to coast goes Chupka as she works her way quickly through the entire Cedarbrook roster. As there's Vasquez, no good. 
Rebound, Schneider lays it in for two. Back the other way underneath, kick out McCoy. McCoy from the corner, drives in, right hand up, no good. Rebound, Schneider. L. Schneider, bring it back the other way. As at the other end, Jaslyn Dawson up to nine points. And it's a 30-25 lead here for Cedarbrook. There's Rodriguez down the lane, blocked by Vasquez. Trigger here is Chapka. Chapka looking for an option. Chapka floats it into Hall. Underhand toss to Chapka. Back looking for Hall. Off the deflection. It's taken away by Schneider. L. Schneider up over the timeline. Schneider top of the key. Swings it to Canty. Canty left wing. Canty drives up top. Canty turns it over almost as it's knocked out of bounds. That's by Erica Hall. Cedarbrook maintains possession, 13.09 remaining here, half number two. As here's Maggie Spell. Spell, two points thus far. Guarded lightly, that's by Nikolai. Spell kicks it near side, right wing, that's Dawson. Jocelyn Dawson puts it on the floor. Dawson up top, picks up her dribble down low, denied by Hall, but right to Canty. Now it's Spell, Maggie Spell turns it over. Here's Chupka back the other way. Chupka straight to the cylinder, stops up, pulls the trigger off the mark. Rebound knocked out, last touch by Erica Hall and Dax Thomas State Farm with 12.40 remaining here in the half. Lee Supply and Mo Flo, the next game here on MVI Live this evening. As Maggie Spell top of the key, now it's Jocelyn Dawson. Dawson back to Schneider. Schneider top of the key for three. Back iron out. Rebound Canty. Canty kick out. Turnover. It's Erica Hall. Hall pushing the pace. Hall puts it up and one. Erica Hall. And it's 30 27. As Erica Hall game high 13. Rising junior at South Fayette Hall give her 14 lead down to two with the old school three point play 12-13 remaining here opening half two point lead for Cedarbrook over Dax Thomas State Farm there's Maggie Spell Spell top of the key rolls right Spell in the right wing for the answer of three and has it Maggie Spell from beyond the arc and Cedarbrook back up by five. As now it's Nikolai's turn. Nikolai drives in off the window and in. Aggie Nikolai. She's up to four. Leads back down to three with 11.40 remaining here in the half. Now it's Vasquez straight to the cylinder. No good. Rebound ripped down by Rodriguez. Rodriguez near side. Hall. Hall for three. That one way off to the right. Rebound saved by Chupka. Now it's Hall floating it up and in with the right. Erica Hall, 16. And it's 33-32 with 11-15 remaining in the opening half. Now it's Carmen Vasquez. Vasquez rolls right block. Vasquez up, no good. Rebound, Abby Jeans. Jeans to Dawson. Dawson with the right for two. Jocelyn Dawson into double digits with 11. As at the other end, Chupka off the window with two of her own. As a lead back down to just one. 35, 34, 10, 45 remaining opening half. Up top, Dawson. Now it's Maggie Spell. Spell rolls left. Spell into the left block. Maggie Spell bounce pass off. Knocked away. Was looking for L. Schneider. As Brooke McCoy will be replaced by Kenzie Saliga. Rodriguez slowly from the back into the front court. Tessa Rodriguez, top of the key. Rodriguez back outside, Ella Chupka. Chupka rolls right elbow, Chupka stops up. Chupka floats it up, no good, rebound Chupka. Chupka foul line, Chupka kick out. There's Rodriguez for three, no good. Now Hall the rebound. Behind the back feed to Rodriguez, near side. 
That's controlled by Chupka inside, off the glass, no good for Hall. Rebound, Kenzie Saliga. As Saliga on the floor after the loose ball. Chupka backpedals, pressured by Jeans. Inside and fouled was Nikolai, that's by Maggie Spell. Nine fifty-four remaining, second half, 35-34 lead. As inside, Hall off the inbound gives Dax Thomas State Farm the advantage as she matches her season high of 18. As their spell, now it's Jeans, left wing. Jeans pulls the trigger, rattles in and out, rebound by Tessa Rodriguez. Rodriguez to the corner. There's... Hall getting it back, that's to Rodriguez. Rodriguez guarded by Jeans. Rodriguez outside Chupka, Ella Chupka directing traffic. Chupka top of the key, drives foul line, right block, now rolls back. Chupka pulls the trigger as that one rattles in and out. Rebound Rodriguez, Rodriguez bounce pass outside. Chupka for three, off the mark, rebound by Nikolai. Nikolai to Hall for three again. Overshoots, rebound by Chepka. Great job by State Farm on the glass. As here comes Nikolai, right hand up and in. Aggie Nikolai. Up to six, 38-35. State Farm lead with 8.40 remaining here in the half. Can State Farm get win number one here against Cedarbrook? The current three seed. As Spell way outside, buries it. Maggie Spell, just like that, we're tied at 38. As Chupka, coast to coast for two more, giving her double digits. And Ax Thomas State Farm up to 40. 8 10 remaining. Now it's Vasquez. She's scoreless this half. Carmen Vasquez, double team. Great job by Hall. As into the backcourt, Spell the first one there, surrounded, and the tie-up forced by Ella Chupka. And Dax Thomas State Farm with a two-point advantage, gets the ball back with eight minutes on the clock. Chupka the inbound, that's to Aggie Nikolai over the center court logo. Nikolai up top, Erica Hall, Hall top of the key. Hall drives in, left block, floater up. No good, rebound, grab down, another offensive rebound for Dax Thomas State Farm. Now it's Chupka, kick out to the corner, Saliga, no good. Rebound, Olzak, off to Carmen Vasquez, 7.35 remaining in the half. Vasquez over the divider, Vasquez top of the key, shuffles right, Vasquez for three. Off the mark, rebound, Pascal Olzak. Olzak off the window, no good. Rebound, Vasquez. Vasquez, turn away, shot, back iron out. Rebound, Olzak, she's fouled. As Ella Chepka surrounded her to pick up the personal. Pascal Olzak a chance to tie at the charity stripe. One for two from the line tonight. First shot up. Off the mark, no good. 40-38, your score. Dax Thomas State Farm on top of Cedarbrook. Dax Thomas State Farm winning this game on the glass thus far is Olzak. In and out, iron unkind, rebound by Vasquez, and Vasquez fouled. And it's back-to-back -back fouls in about 30 seconds for Ella Chepka, her third of the half. On the floor, to the dismay of head coach Mariah Ward, Canty sends order in motion. Michaela Canty outside, taken away. Hall the steal. Hall coast to coast, up no good. Great transition defense by L. Schneider. Two on one, and Canty denied by Nikolai, but Vasquez follows up to tie us at 40. As here comes Dax Thomas State Farm once more. Up top, it's McCoy. Kick out, Riley Venick. Venick backpedals, Riley Venick. Venick, top of the key. Venick off to Ella Chupka. Chupka directing traffic, Ella Chupka. 
Rolls left, Chupka to the left block. Chupka off the window. And Ax Thomas State Farm back up by two thanks to Ella Chupka. Ties her season high of 12. As kick out Vasquez. Vasquez coast to coast off her own foot and out. Uh, Erica Hall and Ella Chupka both matching their season high here tonight as Nikolai off the side of the backboard. Here's Maggie Spell in transition. Spell, Hash Schneider goes that way, but taken away. That was Venick with some help from Hall. Hall to Chupka. Venick running the floor, but Chupka fires it up. No good. A rebound by Vasquez and Carmen Vasquez. Fouled in transition. Or make that, excuse me, a timeout by head coach Mariah Ward. Her first team, first timeout. With 5.57 remaining in the contest. 42-40. 0-4 Cedarbrook, or excuse me, 0-4 to Axe Thomas State Farm over 2-2 two two Cedarbrook, who is right now sitting in the third spot in the standings. Behind 4-0 AMD Industries. Looking to go 5-0 tonight. 3-1 Edward Jones at Two, their lone loss was a forfeit loss to Manesson Florist. And then it is Cedarbrook and Moflo, both two and two, but Cedarbrook beat Manesson Florist in a thriller earlier this year. Then one and three is Lee Supply and Dax Thomas State Farm, 0 oh and four here entering play tonight. As things could all rearrange around tonight, especially if Dax Thomas State Farm picks up win number one and Moflo is able to beat Lee supply that would put a whole wrench into things inside the standings and I think that's a big possibility as a very inspired Dax Thomas State Farm team here tonight and it's been a struggle without Mia Ladon for coach Mariah Ward as Schneider and Spell were cold in the first half Spells picked it up but just two points for El Schneider here this half as there's Vasquez Vasquez to Schneider Schneider inside, Vasquez, yes! Pretty passing, Schneider to Vasquez teaming up for two. We're tied at 42. Scoring at will has been Dax Thomas State Farm this half, as that one no good, rebound Schneider. Schneider up ahead, Canty runs under it, Canty out top, Vasquez for three. Rattles no good, another rebound, this time it's Nikolai. Aggie Nikolai over the divider, Nikolai to Venick. Venick pretty, cut to Hall, and Erica Hall finishes at the window. As there's Vasquez, Vasquez up no good. Erica Hall, a season high of 20 points for the rising junior from South Fayette. As here's Carmen Vasquez, she's been held to 12 thus far, only four this half, back iron and out. Coming into this attempt, 50% from the line as Vasquez, see if she can continue that trend. Carmen Vasquez through the motions. Vasquez with the right, back iron, no good, rebound, Erica Hall. Lead still at two for Dax Thomas State Farm. Driving, putting it up and putting it in, it's Aggie Nikolai. As Nikolai up to eight. Now it's Vasquez guarded by Kenzie Saliga, screen provided by Schneider, Vasquez for three, no good. Rebound by Aggie Nikolai, Nikolai. Up over the center court logo, far side Saliga. Saliga puts it up, iron and out, rebound by El Schneider, and a foul called on Kenzie Saliga. Her first team fourth, and here's Ella Chupka back into the contest. She will replace Saliga. As driving there is Vasquez, shot up, iron unkind, as it doesn't fall for Carmen Vasquez. 
4.08 remaining. 46-42 lead for Dax Thomas State Farm. Tessa Rodriguez near side McCoy. McCoy in the left wing. Up top, Chupka. Ella Chupka. Chupka backpedals. Chupka rolls up top. Ella Chupka spinning. Chupka stops up. Chupka now drives. Chupka top of the key. Chupka kicks it underneath and a foul from behind on Erica Hall. 3.44 remaining in the contest, at least in regulation. 46 42, Dax Thomas State Farm looking for win number one here this season versus the third place team at the moment in Cedarbrook. As up top, there's Vasquez. Vasquez, kick out. Schneider, now it's Spell. Spell driving in. Schneider off the fingertips out to Vasquez. Outside driving in. Bounce pass out to Canty deep for two. Knocks it down. Michaela Canty, there's her first bucket from the floor and it comes at a crucial moment. 46-44. 3.08 remaining here, half number two. Ella Chupka. Isolating, now over to Hall. Hall, now McCoy for three. Off the mark, rebound, Jocelyn Dawson. Dawson spins away from Hall, kicks it to Canty. Down by two is Cedarbrook. Dawson for the tie, got it. Jocelyn Dawson up to 13, 46 is on the board. 240 remaining. Now it's Chupka. Chupka surveys, rolls back out beyond the perimeter. Ella Chupka backpedals towards the center court stripe. 46 all, under 430 to, or 230 to play here, half number two. 26-22, Dax Thomas has outscored Cedarbrook this half and add two more for Ella Chupka as she reaches a season high of 14. As now it's Spell, two minutes on the clock. Spell to Canty, Canty floats it inside. Vasquez going to work, up and under and we're tied again. Carmen Vasquez up to 14. Chupka over the divider, Ella Chupka. Rolls right, Chupka. Goes to Hall, Hall to McCoy. 137 remaining. McCoy almost outworks herself. Up top, Chupka slowing things down. In no hurry is Dax Thomas State Farm. Now Chupka spinning away from pressure. Chupka drives in, taken away. It's Vasquez, the steal. Up to Schneider, and Schneider gets it to fall. L. Schneider and Cedarbrook back on top. Big bucket for Schneider, up to five. As here is Chupka, her team down by two, 107 remaining. Cutting in, Nikolai jump stop, blocked by Vasquez. As flipped up the spell. Maggie Spell, her team up by two, 52 on the clock. Vasquez, see if Dax Thomas increases the pressure, is in no hurry. Now Rodriguez got in the face of Vasquez, and it's a turnover, no, deflected off of Dax Thomas State Farm, and they will call their penultimate timeout. Forty-one point six on the clock. Fifty forty-eight. Cedarbrook on top of Dax Thomas State Farm. Erica Hall twenty points, twelve this half and ten this half for Ella Chupka. Six for Aggie Nikolai. That's all the scoring for Dax Thomas State Farm. As two players have reached their season high here in this one, trying to get win number one for Dax Thomas State Farm. Fourteen for Vasquez. Thirteen for Dawson and six or eight for Maggie Spell, six this half, and a huge two points for L. Schneider, giving them this advantage. Two point lead for Cedarbrook, looking to go to three and two on the season if they can hang on and avoid the upset. 41.6 on the clock.
Can't see the trigger, see how quick it is till they foul. Schneider left alone. They get it in, Schneider out to Canty. Canty fouled by McCoy and it's one and one. It's gonna be one and one, Canty. Four for four for the rising freshman. Canty needs to make the first. Canty puts it up, does not. The four for four streak ends and a chance to tie. It's Nikolai near side, Chupka. Chupka left wing, Chupka looks to drive. Ella Chupka needs help, picked up her dribble. Bounce pass Rodriguez, 22 on the clock. Is Dax Thomas gonna hold for one? No, McCoy has it knocked out by Vasquez. And the last touched by McCoy. Huge play by Vasquez to deny an opportunity for a shot. Inbound, there's Dawson, Dawson to Schneider. And Schneider fouled. Goes against Nikolai. Al Schneider, one for two. Schneider puts it up and puts it in. Huge first make by L. Schneider. Schneider can make this a two possession game. Back iron out, rebound, loose, off the foot of Spelling out. And there's still life for Dax Thomas State Farm. 12.2 on the clock. It's not necessarily a must three opportunity but it almost feels like it. See if Chupka puts one up. Chupka rolls right, Chupka straight to the cylinder, up and in! A bucket and a timeout as the lead's back to one with 5.8. As out of timeouts is Dax Thomas State Farm. Chupka to 16. As that was a quick play by Chupka, put it back to one. And out, but the, the tough part is here if you're Dax Thomas State Farm. If it's not both made, free throw attempt saying Cedarbrook is gonna shoot one and one one more time. And if they get both, Dax Thomas State Farm is out of timeouts. That being said, once they get the rebound or if they do or off a make, or off a miss, excuse me, there is no time to waste, you have 5.8 seconds on the clock. It's gonna have to be a quick sequence. See if they go for the steal off the inbound. And you know, something Kevin Kovach and I have talked about, we're not gonna see the wide receiver patterns where you can have everyone below the baseline and shoot out. They're just gonna have a four high. See if Vasquez can get it in, floats it up to Canty, and Canty's fouled. And a couple more seconds tick off the clock, and I think that's gonna be it for Dax Thomas State Farm. It should be about four and a half. And I think Coach Rodriguez is asking if they can consult on the clock. I, I, I'd agree that at least another second rolled off. And they'll put it back to, they put it back to 4.5, and I think that's about right. So one and one for Canty. Again, you almost feel like it might be better if Canty would get both. It, it's gonna be tough either way. Canty makes it, give her seven. Leads the two. As Canty puts it up, puts it in. Four point seconds, Shupka puts it up. Off the iron, or off the backboard, no good. As hanging on for victory was Cedarbrook by three. 53, 50 your final score as Cedarbrook able to avoid the upset. Season highs for Hall and Chupko were not enough. 14 for Vasquez, 13 for Dawson and two huge ones at the line for Canty to end it. 53, 50 your final score as Cedarbrook hangs on and avoids the upset here this evening right here on MVI Live. We'll take a break, come back with game number two for you here this evening on MVI Live between MoFlo and Lee Supply. <laughs> 